Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The armored fighting vehicles and the main battle tanks are currently protected by passive and reactive armor solution. However, they are still not effective against latest generation anti-tank ammunition with top attack capabilities. Therefore, it is required to develop new innovative solution to provide survivability against ever increasing lethality of anti-armor threats as the weight of current generation tank have already reached the saturation limit. The active protection system is able to neutralize and defeat such incoming threats for the main battle tanks before they can hit the tank by automatically acquiring, tracking and responding with countermeasure kinetic or explosive means to neutralize the anti-armor threats and munitions. Back in February 2021, the Defense Acquisition Council has cleared a proposal to upgrade protection levels of over 3,000 armored fighting vehicles including main battle tanks and infantry combat vehicles. The Defense Ministry has cleared indigenous weapons program worth Rs 13,700 crore including acquisition of modernized version of Arjun battle tanks and increasing the protection level of over 3,000 armored fighting vehicles currently in service. Indian Army is planned to equip 13 to 14 armored regiments with active protection system with hard kill capability. As per the proposal, all the capital acquisition contracts other than design and development projects must be completed in two years. This decision will help to fast track the procurement process and address the need of our armed forces. Now, as many of you would be aware that DRDO is working on an active protection system for the main battle tanks. However, the progress has been very slow. The project started back in 2015. It has also been reported that DRDO has already developed some kind of active protection system which uses a laser warning system for Arjun MK2 which is now being called as Arjun MK1A as there is going to be no Mark II variant of the indigenous tank. However, the requirement of APS has increased from just being using the laser warning system to be able to detect the anti-armor projectile using infrared and radars. The idea is now attempting to develop an APS that will have multi-spectral sensors including radars and laser sensors to cover a wide variety of threat velocities or anti-tank ammunition ranging from a speed of 70 to 240 meter per second. The system should have engagement range from 50 to 150 meter and quick reaction time to neutralize before 50 meter. The system should have fully automated detection, identification, tracking and neutralization of incoming threat and must include a sensor suite, control system, a set of protecting ammunition, launcher, launcher activation unit and display. The DRDO's APS would be able to intercept targets accurately when the armored vehicle is in both static and dynamic that is moving condition and should be safe for nearby troops and issues audio and visual warning during the activation of countermeasures. It should also have the protection against accidental activation of explosive charges due to small firings, artillery splinters or flares and other objects. Importantly, the system will have the simultaneous multi-directional multiple threat detection system and neutralization capability with very high hit probability F95% and would provide 360 hemispherical protection coverage. The active protection system will be used on Arjun tank series, T90 Bison and armor personal carriers which are under development. Now as per the latest update, DRDO's lab LRD has recently released an RFI for the active protection radar. Now this radar will be used to detect and automatically track the anti-tank rockets, anti-tank guided missiles and tank rounds. The active protection radar is a key element of the active protection system which can be installed on the main battle tanks and armored protection carriers for early warning against the anti-tank ammunition fired. It will have 
360 degree coverage to detect the top attack anti tank ammunition as well the dar along with hard kill measures will be used to protect tank and its crew members if we stitch together the present development and the dac approval of last year we can expect drdo's aps in next 1 to 2 years this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector